it's just a conversation that I hear in queues, in restaurants, in shops. Everyone's talking about it. Genesis Inc. is about four people who are trying in different ways to have children, or at least considering how they're gonna have children. They meet in a private fertility clinic and they go on a very strange journey, an unexpected journey together. I had an experience in the IVF private sector myself, which was so bizarre and absurd. I came out straight away and I knew I had to write about it. The title Genesis Inc. is the name of the clinic. I like the layers of meaning in the word Genesis and I suppose the ink is just a reminder that it's a corporation. <laughs> You're forking over hundreds of pounds every time you go in and it's all sort of very discreetly handled and sort of, you know, out comes the credit card machine. No one ever talks about how this might impact you. Clearly, I'm not in any way suggesting that, that IVF is a bad thing, that fertility industry is a bad thing. It's essential. I have lots of friends who've been through it and are going through it. I also met NHS doctors, I met counsellors, I met bankers, um, I met fertility experts, I interviewed lots and lots of people. Robert Winston and the message out there for young women and men and for my generation seems to be if you don't have the money to pay for IVF you're not going to have a kid because the NHS as we know is running out of funding. I had a call from my agent saying Hampstead would like to talk to you about it. There's lots of magic and quite overt theatricality in it and they just seemed to get it and they found it funny and that was really important. It cuts through class, it cuts through gender, it cuts through economics, privilege, it's the privatisation of reproduction. <laughs>